Hi everyone and welcome to today's running review. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Now Plus head torch from Petzl. So here we go. Okay, so usually with these kind of product review videos, they start by rambling off a load of stats and features about the product. But um, what I'll do is I'll stick up over here some of the uh, specifications of the head torch just for you to take a look at. And uh, yeah, you can soak that up in your own time by pausing the video and having a read. But um, this head torch I've recently purchased, I've had it for about a month now and uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying it so far. Uh, the reason I purchased this one in particular was because I'd heard great reviews from um, my other club members at Guildford Trail Runners and yeah, all positive stuff about this Petzl Now Head Torch. So yeah, I thought I'd get my own and uh, yeah, see what the hype's all about. So, um, so far as I say, I've had this Head Torch for about a month. I've been really enjoying using it so far uh, it's a really really comfortable torch it features this sort of shock cord uh, design here on the band itself which sort of alleviates pressure around the side of your head so it's been really comfortable to run in absolutely no issues with my head aching after coming back from a long run and uh, yeah it's just been really really comfortable to use as far as the lighting goes epic and um, it's been performing really well it's a very very bright head torch the max output is 750 lumens um, and that is in their reactive mode which i'll talk about in a second and uh, yeah it basically is a super bright white light and uh, probably one of the most powerful head torches i've used last year i got the pleasure of trying out uh the brightest day 1300 from moonlight and that thing was absolutely epic in terms of brightness so this is a bit of a step down but uh, it's still very comparable because i think when you get to the high amount of light it does uh, tend to hurt your eyes after a while if you do have it on max lumen so i think 750 is still overkill but uh, yeah it's good to have on tap should you need it so, um, as I mentioned a second ago, about the uh, reactive technology here on the top. So it's basically a little sensor encased here in this red mount on the top, and that uh, detects light bouncing back from the head torch, like reflecting into the head torch. So the light can basically detect how dark it is um, in your surroundings. And that basically enables this reactive technology, which then increases or decreases uh, the brightness of the light depending on how bright it is in your surroundings so just a little demonstration here i suppose i could do this so i flick it on and then uh, probably just see at the moment it's probably only got one one beam lit up which is the dimmest it's going to be because the sun's pretty much come up now but if i sort of hold my finger over that sensor on the top there as you can see it gets a lot lighter because it's thinking it's darker so yeah that is basically this head torch's party trick i mean this is the main selling feature behind this head torch and uh, it sort of means that you can sort of go hands-free without having to sort of adjust it and you know turn the, the dim it yourself it sort of just looks after it all itself so yeah it is a bit of a party trick that but um yeah 
so far I've been pretty pleased with how it works as well there have however been a few issues that I have found with it um, but I'll get into that at the end of the video so as well as the reactive mode it also has um, uh, just a continuous mode which you can turn it on so it has three settings across all three reactive and continuous so you've got the dimmest medium and bright and then yeah you can pick and choose from other sports profiles as well which will dictate the max output of lumens which can be controlled through the mobile app again which i'll go through with you guys in a second so just to give you guys a quick display of what is possible with this head torch i'll hand over to myself in the dark and uh, yeah show you what the what the head torch can do so see you guys in a sec okay and welcome to the test for the uh, now plus head torch here so i've set up this sort of scenario here um, this is probably the most sort of scientific ish <laughs> test that i could think of to do with this head torch just to give you guys an idea of what it'd be like when you're out running um, the GoPro doesn't perform very well in low light, so I thought instead of using that to sort of demonstrate it here, I'd use um, a mirrorless DSLR here that I've got set up on a tripod, and um, yeah, I just brought it out into the playground at the back of where I live here, and um, so at the back, about 15 to 20 meters away, there's a wall with a few pictures on. Probably can't see it now because it is quite dark, um, just the other little bits of street lighting around and obviously I've got a light behind the camera here just so you can see me at the moment but this I thought would be a good little test just so I can show you guys a few of the uh, capabilities of the head torch here. Um, I just want to preface this test by saying that I've got the head torch on um, the trail running profile at the moment so um, with this head torch you have um, the Petzl Now like Bluetooth app um, which you can use to program the head torch. It's got loads of different profiles, um, some sort of like mountaineering to rock climbing and stuff, and that sort of dictates what sort of brightness settings you get from uh, the reactive element here on the top. So um, yeah, it's set up for trail running at the moment, which is most useful for me. And I'm sure if you're watching this, it's probably useful for you as well. But um, just to let you guys know, that's what I'm using. So um, what I'll do is I'll uh, turn off the light behind the camera here and then um, we'll just go through a few of the settings on the torch. Okay so here we go, complete darkness as I said and uh, at the back of the uh, playground there is a wall so I'm going to turn on the head torch now. This is on um, max autonomy they call it so this will be the lowest setting for the reactive mode and I'll go through all three settings of that. So this is the lowest brightness of the reactive mode in the trail running setting. So I'll just turn that on now. So there we go. As you can see now, you can see the wall at the end of the playground there. As I say, that's about 15 to 20 meters away. Um, and then flicking over onto medium. So medium again, slightly brighter. A few more details on the wall there at the end of the playground. And also a little bit more of the building beyond that and then going on to full power reactive mode there as you can see pretty much illuminated the whole playground and uh, yeah <laughs> very clear very visible and very bright and yeah so that's what you would get if you're out and about running with this head torch in trail running mode and on the reactive lighting I now turned it off. I'll uh, now turn it back on, but I'll be using just the standard modes. Um, once again, it's in the trail running profile, but this doesn't include the reactive technology, so it'd be slightly dimmer, but you also get a slightly longer burn time with this mode here. So this is just a sort of continuous mode with none of the adjustment in the lumens. So I'll flick that on now. So there we go. That's the first mode. There, that's the dimmest mode. And then move it over into medium, slightly brighter, and then maximum, there we go. And as you can see, those modes there, not as bright as the reactive mode, but during the continuous mode, you do also have the option to use the live app on the phone. So I'll fire that app up now, and then we'll just go through a few of the settings on that. Okay, so here we go. So I've just opened up the Petzl, My Petzl app 
here on my phone and um, to activate it you need to turn on the head torch so I've already activated the Bluetooth on the head torch here so I'll just quickly turn it on and get it into full power mode as I say this is on continuous at the moment and this is where you'll get the most benefit from the uh, app and using the live lumens uh, capabilities so I'll just quickly connect to the head torch here there we go so I'll just show you guys that what that looks like on the screen there so that at the top there that is uh, the battery life of the head torch and then as you can see down here you've just got the three different levels of brightness with um, reactive and also the constant there just to show you guys that I'm in constant but um, while I'm on the case of the head torch at the moment the app um, you have on the back here you may have noticed already the uh, red LED on the back of the head torch which is actually built into the actual battery itself so you using the app here you can go through a few different settings so you can either have it off which is that and then continuous which I like to keep it on or you can also have a strobe as well so yeah in terms of safety when you're out and about on the roads um, great feature that from Petzl there really really great so I'll just keep it off for now anyway as we continue talking about the head torch here so just flip it back on so as I mentioned a second ago you've got the uh, live lumen feed so um, there you go if that just comes out on the camera so that just tells you your battery um, indicator at the top there so at the moment I'm 98% and then lower down it just gives you how long burn time you have in the level that you're currently operating at and then using the bar on the side here you can actually scroll between the different levels of light and like dial it into specifically what you need so if I try and set this up in a way where you can see what I'm doing <laughs> so um, I can dim it right down I'll dim the head torch right down there and that gives me a maximum burn time of 21 and a half hours so what I'll do again is I'll just flick out the lights and then we'll just have a little play around with the app here just so you can see what it's like in a dark environment okay so here we go back again in the darkness so on that low level there 21 and a half hours of burn time and as you can see uh, it's not particularly bright so if I gradually increase the brightness here on the app in the live mode you should hopefully if this will come out on camera for you be able to see it increase gradually in brightness as we go so here we go there we go so that's max brightness now so as you can see that's pretty bright compared to how it was originally there with 21 hours of burn time and that full brightness there that's giving me seven hours and 20 minutes of burn time there on the app that isn't quite at max brightness but um, to be honest with you that's more than bright enough that's currently outputting 315 lumens so for most cases that's going to suit you pretty well all right so pros and cons of the petzl now plus head torch then so firstly as i said before extremely comfortable no issues whatsoever with any sort of pressure on the head and uh, yeah any discomfort whilst out running it's pretty lightweight the only main weight that you have is from the battery pack on the back but because it is split it kind of balances out and yeah you don't really feel it too much while you've got it on so yeah in terms of comfort extremely good um, as I say the party trick with the reactive uh, lighting element really quite cool and uh, yeah really interesting how it works and stuff and all in all it does tend to perform pretty well but I have noticed one problem with it and that issue is when it comes to running at night mainly on roads where you get a lot of this happening um, if you come up to sort of street signs and things like that basically anything that has that sort of reflective stuff on it including t-shirts and stuff I've noticed as well whilst being out with the Guildford Trail Runners are shirts on the back we've got a very reflective thunderbolts on the back and uh, this also triggers the same issue but because of the reflectiveness of the signs or whatever it is 
it does tend to dim the light um and also that that basically gives sort of like a, a flashing effect because you're not always constantly looking at it and it sort of dims and brightens dims and brightens quite rapidly i mean it's good that the head torch can handle it and detect those little changes in light so it just proves that the technology is working but it also shows how sensitive it is so yeah i mean it's kind of a pro and a con just for the point of view that it proves that it does work but um it can get a bit annoying so if you're out in a group maybe with other people that have head torches on it might be worth just using the continuous mode if that gets on your nerves with the constant dimming and brightening of the head torch i mean it's not a deal breaker by any means but it's just something that i'd notice whilst testing it over the last month um other positives uh it's cool that you can pick different profiles for what sport you're going to be using and as i said before that dictates the lumens that you have coming out of the head torch and it also um gives different sort of lighting patterns as well i've been told by the app i haven't actually put that to the test but uh yeah for some examples like some sports it'll give more of a flood in front of you rather than having the long distance spot and vice versa so yeah that's kind of cool to have that option rather than having loads of different head torches for different activities so yeah all in all been pretty pleased with this head torch but uh there have been a few sort of sticking points and things that i've noticed that maybe could do with changing in other versions coming up so number one the app itself so not specifically to do with the head torch here but if you want to get the most out of it you need a good app and the petzl my petzl app is uh, pretty hit and miss at the best of times sometimes it doesn't connect to the head torch sometimes it just crashes so you open the app and then it just dies and you have to restart it all and uh, yeah sometimes when it comes to loading the new profiles onto the head torch as well it can be a bit hit and miss like sometimes it doesn't load a whole profile and you're missing a setting so you have to redo it all again so pets will definitely need to put a bit of uh, work into perfecting that app and making sure that it you know works properly so just a quick update i think so nothing major there on that front that needs to be addressed and the second thing a little bit of a gripe i have about is the little switch on the top so it does feature a little lockout mode here which is cool so you can sort of twist the uh button around to lock out the switch on the top so you can't turn it on or off which is great if you're carrying it in the bag and things like that for your kit for a long ultra and you don't want to waste the battery having it on in your bag by mistake so that's a great feature can't knock that but when it comes to turning on and off again another good feature here nice big button easy to turn on and off with gloves excellent however the gripe is you have three settings so you've got dim medium and high but then once you've gone through all three of those the only other option you've got then is to go back to off which in my mind is a bit annoying purely for the fact that if you go cycle through it get to the highest beam and then it starts to get a bit sort of lighter around you and you don't want to have it on full power anymore you have to turn it off to get back to dim in my mind it'd be better if you sort of could flick back through the setting some way without going to off because it still might be quite dark and if you go from bright light to pitch black instantly and you end up tripping over you know you, you completely lose your light so I think it would be better if they could somehow maybe work a similar system to what they've got at the moment but maybe feature a button for the lock or something like that so you hold the button down to lock the torch and then you use that sort of easy toggle system on the side here um, just to cycle through all the modes so maybe that's something that they could feature in a future update and a future head torch but other than that as i say really really great head torch been enjoying using it 
and uh, yeah it's going to be great for what I have coming up next year in terms of trail races and stuff like that so yeah it's going to be a great bit of kit happy to have it in the arsenal and uh yeah can't really complain that much about it it's just a few things and you know ease of use issues that I've had and uh, thought I'd share them with you so yeah that's it for the review hope you find this helpful if you have any other further questions about it drop them in the comments below and I'll fill you in and try and find the answer if I don't already like myself so yeah that's it for today's video guys if you like what you've seen please press the like button and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing for more running videos like this so that's it take care stay safe and I'll see you all in another video peace